Watching the hottest week of the year continues with today's extremely high heat index. The weather caused residents to do whatever they could to stay cool. Zach Stidham was out today trying to find the best ways to do just that. And Zach, what did you find? Well, the most efficient ways to stay cool in these conditions are either to get in the water or do so or eat something cold. As the heat continues to rise, it is becoming harder for people to find ways to stay cool. However, there are some things that people may overlook in their search. One of the best ways to exercise while not getting overheated are water activities. Karen Doble is a swimming instructor at the Sullivan Pool and she explains the benefits of these activities. We do some running, we do some basic exercise, uh, we do some swimming, we do arms, legs, and it just feels wonderful. These things are right at the fingertips of local residents. The Sullivan Pool is open six days a week for all residents to enjoy all the fun it has to offer. Noble has one final message to try to encourage anyone who may be on the fence about it. I have always swam and it really helps your joints. And besides that, nobody here cares what you look like in a bathing suit. Come out and join us. For the ones who want to stay inside, there is a perfect option for you. Ice cream is not only delicious, but is available at many places indoors. One of these places is the local shop, What's the Scoop? Jamie Ellis is the owner of What's the Scoop, and she goes over what all they have to offer. This week, with the weather being so hot, we have encouraged people to enjoy our delicious Hershey's ice cream. We sold an awful lot of milkshakes this week. I think milkshakes are a little easier to handle than a cone right now. This weather has also caused an increase in their normal sales. I'm sure they would like it to be this hot more often. I think a lot of people are coming out to get a cool, sweet treat of ice cream to combat this heat that we're dealing with this week. So yes, we've seen an increase in business for sure. The heat wave is projected to end tomorrow afternoon. That means Friday night lights will still be on. Back to you.